What's nice about this one, Malik, is remember, we talked about what are the specific characteristics of a rhombus compared to another parallelogram. Caleb, I don't want that right now, um, so you can take it out. I want you just to be writing this down. Exactly. So remember, Caleb, what we talked about was that we have the parallelogram has four congruent sides and diagonals that are perpendicular. So guys, right now I know it says that dm is 5s plus 5y plus 2 and dk is 3y plus 6. Well, if it's a rhombus, then Ashley, we know that both sides are equal to each other, correct? So therefore, I can write an equation 5y plus 2 is equal to 3y plus 6. Right? And now I can find the measure of y, because what they're asking us is find the length of kl, which is going to be the length of all of them. We just need to find the measure of y. So therefore, I'll solve for y. So I'll subtract 3y on both sides. 2y plus 2 equals 6. Subtract 2, subtract 2. 2y equals 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2. y equals 2. Now, again, I don't need to find, actually, there is no expression for kl. But I know that a rhombus has all congruent sides, so I just need to find the measure of one side. So I'll find the measure of dm. Dos. Okay. And there you go.